I've been really impressed at the dedication of all the volunteers across our eight villages, from Horningsley in the north to Tevisham in the south. We've all been working hard, getting to know each other, and doing a whole range of things, from shopping for vulnerable residents, to collecting prescriptions, uh, to keeping in touch by online meetings and WhatsApp groups. It's been impressive. And I've been delighted to work alongside officers from South Cams, as well as the volunteer coordinators, to try to keep our residents safe and resilient. And now we're looking forward to things improving in future and to welcoming spring. And what I've been doing during the COVID-19 crisis is I've been making sure that the various community leaders and volunteers in each of the villages that I represent have been put in touch with the correct people at the various councils and local authorities in Cambridgeshire. Uh, on top of this, new information is coming out every day regarding the crisis and changes to legislation, etc. So I've been making sure this information is swiftly disseminated down to those community leaders. On top of this, I'm making myself personally available. My email address and mobile phone number are available on the District Council website for anyone that does need help and doesn't know who to turn to. So please, if you know anyone that does need help, please do point them in my direction. On top of this, I would like to thank all the volunteers in the various villages for all their hard work and tireless work during this time. It's very much appreciated. Stay safe. I'm privileged to be co-leading the Community COVID-19 response, together with Yvonne Murray, an incredible parish councillor and community champion, and the core coordination team, which is an unprecedented collaboration between the parish council, local churches, local charities, and South Cam's District Council, which has seen a groundswell of over a thousand volunteers who are supported by a network of 125 street coordinators to ensure that food and prescription supplies are delivered when and where needed. And it's also meant that over this long Easter weekend, we've been able to reach out to 1,500 elderly and potentially vulnerable people just to check that they're okay, to make sure that everyone is safe and connected. Here in Hardwick, I'm happy to report that we have between 30 and 40 fabulous volunteers who are giving dedicated support to the over 200 people who are self-isolating for one reason or another. Uh, we're providing help with, with shopping, with collecting prescriptions and a whole variety of different tasks. Uh, I call them Hardwick's heroes. They're doing a fantastic job and I offer most my most sincere thanks to each and every one of them. <laughs>